I see you watching me. I'm beautiful. Everybody, scapegoat's back in the long drive. We are going to go do some adventuring today. Um, we're at 500 exactly kilometers. How cool is that? Well, 0.1. So, 550, straight up. We're going to go do that, because you know it is 50 kilometers or more. Uh, we're using keyboard again today, because I didn't feel like uh, getting my steering wheel out after after 90 bucks used it all morning. Because she's weird like that, so <laughs> I felt like not doing that. But I thought I would stop in here for a second and check this out. Because people were saying they like it more when I stop and check things out. But I'll tell you, I'm not sure I understand the point uh, at this point, considering I've literally been everywhere. And I hate this building, though, man. I've never stopped at these. Even when I was looking for things, I never stopped at these because they're terrible. What is this, black paint? I don't need no black paint. Then he can help my situation. All right, what's, what do we got? We got a brush. We got some shine. We don't need that either. There's a rabbit out there. We don't like that. Got some pallets. Okay, we got some more pallets. There's a lot of pallets. It's like this. Auto save. This is this is one of those jump through the window moments, and we can't do it. We're terrible. We got there's some things in here, but nothing. I always go around the wrong side of this building. Just, I'm all over the place today. What do we got? Okay, we got a tire. We got shine. We got a. Uh, thingy sun visor i don't really want to go up these things because they scare me up here let's get up here okay we got some more boring paint we got another music box look at this see look at this this is creepy man i don't like this i'm leaving all right we got more more crappy paint we have a rim we got some red paint got this i think we need to find a new car and someone mentioned in the comments i haven't switched cars in a while there's a reason for that that i'm waiting to find a specific car we need to go that rabbit is watching me i know he's watching me so 550.1 is the distance we have to travel although i think we drove about 100 meters to get here 200 meters to get here so 550.1 we're going to look up for a dasha um right now because that's what i want i want a dasha to swap all this crap into. At least that's my plan. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. But yeah, this is we're on it. We're on an adventure today. Here we go. Off into the wild blue yonder of whatever this is. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna find we're gonna find our way home. That's the plan. I've driven this car 500 kilometers, so that's pretty good for a single car. What do we got out there? What is that? That's a is that, a, is that a, What is this? Is this one of those new houses or is this a gas station? What is this? Huh. Let's go check it out. What do we got here? This is, is this one of the new houses? I think it is. You know what? On the way down, I must have drove by this at night. Because on the way down, I only ever found one of these. And this one is like, yeah, this is, this is one of the houses. So far, though, uh, stop. Okay, so far, I've never found anything out these other than like a couple of pallets and stuff. What's this? What is this? Oh my god, is this a board? That's a board. Oh god, you can't even get in there. What? Okay. There's, there's all sorts of stuff in this. I'm never getting in there. There's too much junk. There's so much junk in this building. Why is there so much junk in this building? Hello? What are you... What, okay, this is stuff in this building. But I'm never getting through those boards. Not with all that crap in the way. Interesting. Interesting. I don't... Uh, that's a little weird. I can't... I would go in there if I could. But if I try to move those boards, I'll just die. Everybody always says they don't die from them. I've died every time I've interacted with those boards for more than one or two seconds. Every time now, I didn't do it on my drive went down because I knew better. I'm not dumb. I know how this works I'm not stupid. I know I know that you just don't mess with the things that kill you automatically It reminds me of like back in the 80s in like Nintendo games and stuff You'd have like one hit and you'd die for some games like, people got it easy nowadays, man Try playing. You know what you want to play a hard game. Oh, there we go spinning out 
you want to play a hard game, go find, get an emulate. Well, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, promote emulation. I guess go get a copy of Silver Surfer uh, for Nintendo. And you think you've played some hard games? That that game is friggin' hard. That game was my nemesis. I used to rent it from a store when I was a kid, and I would we'd get it, and you and, and we go to my buddy's house because I didn't have a Nintendo at the time. And we go over there and we play, and you couldn't, like, we could barely get by the first level of that game. It was so hard. So hard. Silver Surfer, man, for Nintendo NES. Go, go look up videos on it, man. That game is intense, man. <laughs> it's like, this is one of the most intense moments in, in video game history ever. My God. And then we also had to just play the Ninja Turtles game, and that game was just so poorly designed. It was awful. I would love to go back and talk to some of these people and be like, or maybe go back, talk to them now, and be like, what were you thinking? Like, when you designed the controls like that, like, what was going on? Like, why is up jump? Like, why isn't it a button? Like, every other game used buttons for jump. And then suddenly, don't you scream at me! Listen, rabbit! This is my world now, fool. You know, only thing that survived was us and the rabbits, so... You know, one of us has got to go. And I'm pretty sure I can take most rabbits in a fight. Well, as long as they were limping and probably only had one eye. But I can take a rabbit in a fight most of the time. This is... Oh, jeez. We're going so fast right now. Why is this so fast? Oh, God. Yeah, I want to get the... Um, the Dasha back. Because I haven't driven that one in a long time. And I drove that car pretty far. I, I don't like the Skoda. I hate that car. Because of the rear, uh, rear engine design. Not that I'm opposed to rear engine cars, but it makes the rear end real freaking squirrely in that car. But I, I would like to do the Trabant again, but the whole oil mixture thing because of the two-stroke, that sucks. Oh, Devil Road. There's so many of these on the way down. Man, it really got to me over time. Devil Roads are not fun. You don't need a Devil Road to make games fun. Like, why, why add problems that don't need to be here? This game is already hard enough. You don't need to add Devil Roads. I don't know what's up with that. They should literally... Oh, God, there's a rock. They should literally rename them Devil Roads. Developer? Someone tweet at this guy or something. Does he tweet? Does, can you tweet? tweet? Hash Brown? Um, just Devil Roads. Send it to this guy. Oh, hashtag Devil Roads. Put it out there. Into the world. Into the void. Twitter tweet. Tweet. Does it tweet? Can we tweet? Can we send him a mess? Find this guy and send him a message about Devil Roads. And tell him I beat the game and I'm on the way home, too. Because I think he owes me money for I think he at least give me a gift certificate to the Olive Garden, at least. Because, like, you know, when I finally get home to my mom, I want to be able to take her out. But I don't want to just get the free uh, salad and breadsticks. I want to be able to treat her to uh, unlimited pass tonight. We have to. They still offer that. They better. You know, I've been doing this for six months. It could be gone by now. <laughs> that deal was only ever good for a while. No. Oh. We got another one of those double buildings out there. Those things are terrible, man. There's never anything good there. Like, every once in a while, you find a bit of shine. And like I said, I've always said, though, if you need water, stop there. Like, if you're running low on coolant, stop there. But otherwise, it's just basic garbage. Oh, we might have something coming up on the horizon. Is that a... That might be a large gas station. We'll, we'll stop there. As long as the frame rate doesn't totally obliterate me. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, why are we going off the road right now? Bud, stay on the road. Besides, this is a good source for new cars. And I think I'll put this engine in the Dasha, too. The Dasha's engine sounds a little weird. And I'm pretty sure it's front-wheel drive, but I, I think this engine will work in it. I think we can figure it out. There we go. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to take my tires, though, because my tires are good. Okay, we got a little slowdown, but not too bad. Oh, what did we find here? We found a Skoda. And we don't like those. Maybe we'll take it, though, just to be different. You know, I've never driven this one very far. The only time I ever drove this one... Uh, ...was when I lost everything and I had to get build a car out of scrap metal. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's got this shitty engine in it, and I hate this engine. What is that? What? Something's happening. We don't need you no more. Get out. Nobody nobody needs you. Get out, fool. Now, my question is, can I put my coolant tank in there? Is that is that a thing I can do? Because there's a hookup for a coolant tank. Can I... 
Oh yeah, we can't. There we go. This fits. This has got some oil in it, so that's fine. We'll put this uh, bloody engine in here. Okay. I'm telling you, the engine's rusty. I get it, but the top of it's covered in blood. I swear to you. Ugh. Okay, that's not so bad. That kind of fits. This is nice and like fire engine red. I thought I heard a. Okay, so everything's in there except for gas olein. So we need to figure that one out. Fuel tank's empty. Um. I think we may have to sleep for the night. Is this gas only? This is empty. This would actually work quite well. Actually, there's a barrel over here, too. What? What's going on? It's gas and oil. That's gas and oil. That's no good. I can't separate. Oh, there's another barrel. What is going on at this place? Gas and oil. Man, you know. Okay, where's that gas can? There it is. I, I, I'm still pretty sure I have the original not a snake. I am positive of this. That I ever got. I'm pretty sure I never lost the knot of snake. Don't tip over, fool. Okay, let's get over there. We gotta we gotta set this up right. We gotta open this up. There we go. And we gotta open this up. Okay, and then we put this knot of snake. Oh, that's three. Put that in there like such, and then we put that in there like this. There we go. Perfect. Fill that up. I don't need to fill the tank right up, but... Okay. Ooh, auto save. What happened? What happened? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay, we're going to close that in a second. Okay, so we're going to take this up here. Pick this up, and we'll put this... Uh, go to four. There we go. We'll take this. Come here, you. And we'll put this in the Skoda. Now, I'm a little bit trepidatious about taking this piece of crap. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Get in there. There we go. Because it's got a fairly small tank. What is going on behind me? <laughs> I heard something behind me and I didn't like it. Boy, this is slow. You know, did you have to do 20 liters of gas like this? It sucks. And then he's still got to go back to get 12 more. I should just leave the 20 and get out of here. But then I'll get the comments. Why did you take all your gas? Like, you're a fool. And I'm like, yeah, you know... I've literally made a whole YouTube channel on the idea that I'm a fool. So, no, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I know. Oh, 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 God. Okay. I thought that engine was a rabbit. You know what? We're sleeping. We're sleeping for the night. Okay, I can't sleep yet. Okay, get in. Okay, close this door first. All right, we'll sleep here like this. Oh, geez, that's startled. There's a, see, look, there's a rabbit over there. I see you, fool. Are you a bad rabbit or a good rabbit? I can't even tell anymore. Because I still got to transfer all the women and... Are you... Hello? Were you over here? No, you weren't. I don't... I don't see it. I don't see it. There's poos. There's a logging tent. I see his little head over there. See his little ears peeking? Yeah. We better hurry up here and get out of here. Okay, we get some more fuel out of this. No, this side's not so bad because I don't see any rabbits over here. So we're gonna do this, like this, drop this, open this up, open, op open, open, open. Oh, it's, it is still open. Okay, that's cool. Okay, don't auto save right now, buddy. Come on, Ooh, I don't like this. It makes me scared because if that rabbit decides to have a little freaking meltdown, I'm the guy who's, did it say suck? Did that say suck on there? Is that what that said? Oh my God, why are you tipping over? Jeez and crackers. I could just stay up, buddy. Nobody's got time for your bull crap. Cause that rabbit's coming over here and I won't know it. There, okay, where is he? Where is he? Fools. Fools. All you are fools. I only need like 12 liters, so let's uh let's do it up here. That's fine. Close that. Alright, let's grab this and then we'll put this back there. Okay, so we got five. Now that's in four. That's not what I wanted. But for now it'll do. I hate this car, but we'll just gonna get in here. Get in there. Okay, that one door needs some shine, but we can figure that out. Please don't let there be any rabbits creeping on me, man. Because last time that rabbit snuck up on me, it all went very poorly. We don't need to look. We don't need to look. We just need this to hurry up a little bit. My arm just went down for some reason. Okay. Okay. Close that up. All right, so this should all be good now. Now we just got to transfer everybody else out. Ladies... Your chariot awaits. Okay. Ugh. No. Why is your foot? Why is your foot doing that? Okay. Get, get. 
Why can't I pick you up? I saw it for a second. Where did it go? Okay, there we go. Come on, Karen. Karen 1. Karen 2 was in the back last I saw. There you are, Karen 2. Nope! <laughs> Come on, Karen. We don't have time for this. There's rabbits everywhere. I've seen them. Okay, what else we got? We got road lotion. Oh, yes. Front seat. No, we'll put this in the back. Karen, pass me a road lotion when I ask, please. We got a little bit of shine, which we can fix the door with. We got Coily. Come on, bud. We got to get you in there, too. Okay. See, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible because you know how this is going to work out. Okay, we need to actually use this because I have one door that's not quite shiny. This one. Perfect. Okay, oh, right now. Ooh, auto save. What are you doing this to me? Okay. The auto save is aggressive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that did not go well. Let's see. What else we got? We got coily. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not. What is this? Oh, this is just that. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't see Logington anywhere again. Music box. Come on. We're taking this with us too. So the ladies have something to do. Okay, and I saw something over here I want. Loggington, I see you. Come here. All right, perfect. Get in there. Oh, that's the wrong car. That's the wrong car. Loggington there. Okay, close. Don't let Loggington escape, ladies. One last thing. I'm going to need you to come with me. All right. No. No rock left unturned. Okay, just get this in here gently. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's get out of here. Will this thing start now? Perfect. Okay, we got everything we need here. Nice. Come on, Skoda. This car's so bad. All right, stop. Ignition off, please. All right, get out. One, three, two, and goodbye. <laughs> car, you suck. How are my tires on this one? These all look decent, right? These are all decent. These are all decent tires. We're good. All right. Nice. Let's get out of here. All right. Back to three, I guess now. All right. Get in here. Perfect. We're out. Peace. Wait a minute. Shit. I forgot to check something. Crap. All right. I forgot to check something. And now it's going to be all blown all over the place. Damn it. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Auto save. How many kilometers have we gone? Uh, Thirteen six. So we need another twenty six four. I guess. Yeah, twenty six four. All right. So no. Wait a minute. Twenty six thirteen. 36.4, sorry, 36.4, we've gotten, we've gotten 100, 100 meters, all right, although I do like the gauge cluster in this a lot better, 36.4 we need to hit, all right, here we go, perfect, nice brand new red car, look at this, Skoda it is, boys, look how wobbly this thing is, look, it's awful, but it's still bad, it's probably better than the wagon in some ways, there we go, and this one doesn't ever gets going that fast, but it feels so squirrely. 36.4 kilometers. We have to go at least. All right. And this one seems to take a while to build up speed. And I don't know why. There we go. You know what? Actually, come to think of it, I did give up my radiator. Um, when the time I, I got my car stuck in a wall, I had to leave it behind. Because I had to escape on a bicycle. This is good. Look, we're doing like 160. Whoa. Oh, geez. We are just barreling along, aren't we? Oh, 36.4. We're coming for you, baby. Okay. Just relax. Relax, Skoda. It is a beautiful color of red, though. I will give it that. And I don't even like red cars, so that says something, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is going okay. This is going all right. Oh, God, it's a rock! Not going okay anymore! Okay. Well, 
this is bad. Okay, ignition off. It wouldn't turn. It did not turn. I see something rolling away. Coily, is that you? Nope, this is Loggington. Just on the side of the road. That didn't take long to have an accident, did it? Stupid crappy car. Okay, get in here. Okay, what did we miss in here? We listen to... Okay, we got our shines out. Oh my goodness. This whole thing has been a disaster already. All right, we got to take it easy. Let's see here. We got... Uh... Coily, what's up, bud? Good stuff. All right, we found you. That's good to know. There we go. Coily's in there now. What? Okay, there's a couple other things over here. What do we got here? Okay. We have the music box. Can I just throw that over that way a little ways? Yep, okay, there we go. And then we'll grab this mirror, put that back on, and we should be on our way. We'll just double check for the road lotion to make sure it's still around, and we'll just, uh, we'll do that here. You go on here like this, and then the music box can go over in here. Uh, road lotion, you still there, bud? Road lotion, and then we have one carrying in the front seat. This is fine. Except for, oh, yo, I threw Loggington back in there. We're good there. All right, all right, here we go. All right, perfect. Back on the road. Okay, there we go. Perfect. See, it just took one accident. You gotta get it out the way. It wouldn't turn. I was tapping the like I'm, I'm playing on the keyboard again. Today and I was tapping the control, and it wasn't turning. It was just sitting there. All right, well that's fine. No problem. What do we at here? Okay, this is just not smart. Why is there so many freaking rocks right now? All right. Perfect. That car's a lot quieter on the inside than the other cars. What a better build quality, I guess. NVH, baby, NVH. You like that, baby? Let's go. Let's do the thing, baby. I don't have time for your crap, car. We have places to be at 160 kilometers an hour. Wait a minute, did we bleed on anything? No, we didn't bleed. That's good. Let it rock. Okay. This, see, this is, this is, now I remember why I hated this car so much. The handling's actually not too bad. But it's slow to respond to input. Because it likes to, the body likes to pitch first before it responds to input. So first the body wallows and then it starts reacting to your turning. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? Ignition off. What are we at now? Okay, so uh, we just got 30 kilometers to cover. I feel like this is taking a long time. There's like point 0.1 oil there. What do we got here? God, I hate this autosave. You can change the intervals, but it makes sense to have it often because the game crashes a lot. All right. Empty. This is just not okay. There we go. What do you got? What do you got for me? A little bit of oil. We need that. We got television in here. We don't need that. We lost a hubcap. Damn it. Didn't notice that. Perfect. All right. Close that up. Close that up, I said. There we are. Boom. Anybody got a hubcap? I could use one. We got, oh, what do we got? Oh, we got a bike. We got a door. We don't need any of those things. All right, this is fine. Let's get out of here. Not worth it, but we do need a hubcap, so hopefully we can come along one of those. And the one thing I've noticed is since they, they patched the game a while back, and now you just don't find hubcaps laying around that often. They usually have to be attached to a car or a wheel. That's all right. We can find another hubcap. That's easy enough to do. I always have people in the comments tell me, like, you should remove the hubcaps. They just fall off. I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't look right. I don't know too many cars that look good on steelies, man. Except for maybe old cop cars. Oh, no, rabbit. Don't do it, please. Thank you. Good boy. Gonna cover this in here. There we go. This is actually not... Other than the one major accident, this is going fairly smooth. Fairly, fairly smooth. There we go. This is good. This is perfect. This is this is excellent. We like this. This is this is fun. So at a hundred and okay, I'm doing what? Like if 30 kilometers to cover at 120, that would take 20 minutes. No. 120 three goes into four it take 15 minutes. And then so yeah, so we're going like 150. So Oh my god. What? Get, get out of here. Get, that, that's that's foolish. Not so many buses. And it's like the buses are breeding. Like, you leave them alone. 
You know, no adult supervision, and then they end up having bus babies. Nobody wants a bus baby. If you were having babies and you're a bus, or you're under the age of like, like 25, you probably got to reconsider some of your life choices, I'm telling you. Okay, okay, not that I'm judging young mothers, I'm not judging anyone, I'm just saying. It's probably better to wait when you're financially more stable. If you're financially stable, I'm not even having this conversation. I'm sure I'll catch hell for it in the comments. Never mind, I apologize, I am wrong. Anybody should have babies any age they want. It's not my business, and I'm not going to even get into it. And to be fair, when I was younger, almost every girl I knew in high school got pregnant at a very young age. So, who am I to judge? I can't physically get pregnant, I'm pretty sure, so I think we're safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to catch hell for this. Please, please don't get mad. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. It was, it was, it's not supposed to be that way. I was talking, I was thinking the financials, not the, uh, the freedom of choice. That was not what I was, I give up. I've already lost. <laughs> you, can't, you can't win this argument. You ever notice certain arguments in life you just can't have? That's one of them right there. I have no, uh, I have no horse in that race, so I have no comments at this point. Now, on the other hand, what I would like to comment on is the fact that I still have a hubcap, and that, that would be lovely to be able to replace right now. But I'm not seeing anywhere to even stop, let alone uh, find a hubcap. And finding a hubcap on its own is going to be almost impossible. I could really go for a hubcap right now. Something in a something in a shiny hubcap? That'd be nice. Oh, we got to build down the horizon. I can see it. Or is that just mountains or something? I think it's a, I think it's a building. We'll get there. I have all my lights still. I may not have my lights anymore. Those look really dark. Maybe they're just dark colored lights. I'm still surprised you can't pull the tail lights out of these things. Oh, that is a building. I may be able to get there before nightfall. As long as I don't hit this rock. Like, oh, that's two. I thought that was a bush. That was a big rock. Another big rock. What is with the big rocks right now? Okay, get on the road, Skoda. All right, here we go. Little gas station. There we are. Just pull on in here. Perfect. Okay, let's see. I don't see any gasoline. Oh, this I do right there. Okay, hang on a sec. Ignition off. What are we at? 16. We got about 20 kilometers to cover. Has this got gas in it still? Oh, this does have gas. We might as well take it while we have the opportunity. There we go. This thing's actually not too inefficient, actually. It's, it's not going so bad. Um, I don't see a hubcap. Uh, anyway. What does it say? Gaming Canalis? Oh. I see. Diesel. Karen's in a fly swatter. I don't know what the fly swatter's for, but it'd be kind of funny if there's bugs you can attack. All right, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's have a little sleep. Sleep till morning. This is always my favorite part when this thing spins into the daylight. Whoa, there we go. Well, I gotta say, the uh, the cloud system he added looks really good considering, you know, it isn't exactly a big budget game. He really did a good job on the clouds. I like how volumetric they look, at a distance anyway. I'll tell you, some things in games make or break them if you play enough video games. Like, I was just saying this to my uh, to 90 books the other day. I was saying that... Uh, the most important thing in a game engine for looks, like you can talk resolution of the, the textures and all that, and all that does play a part for sure. But the biggest thing in my opinion that makes a game look good is the lighting engine. If you have a good lighting engine, which this one seems to not have a bad one, it makes all the difference in the world. And a good example of that is the ray traced Minecraft stuff. Like that looks so like you no, know, you have shaders. Um but shaders always look very unrealistic to me. And it's not that they're bad looking, it's just not the look I'm going for. They looks too, like, like, movie-esque. Whereas the ray tracing ones I found are very, uh, they just, they cast light more realistically, so they feel more real, even if the light isn't as intense. But yeah, like, I play, um, Minecraft, uh, the Windows 10 version has, uh, ray tracing built in, and I, I have a ray tracing graphics card, and it is, uh, it is something to see. Like, it is absolutely something to see. 
looks gorgeous. And now with like the advent of Minecraft getting super popular again, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a Minecraft playthrough. Now, I've never beaten Minecraft, so that would be an interesting playthrough of the game. But that could take a long time, man. Like, Minecraft is not a short game. Like, you can beat it fast. But being I'm not very good at the game, it can probably going to take me, like, 30 or 40 episodes to beat it. I don't think anybody wants to watch me play Minecraft for 30 or 40 episodes. That's crazy, Tom. Crazy. I tell you. I tell you. This is off the road. There we go. Back on the road. Perfect. This is a little rock right there. This is just spinning out of control suddenly. This is not good. Yeah, we made some good stops today, though. That's kind of fun. I like finding new things. Oh, God. Jesus, that was close. What is it with this car and rocks? This is not okay. Sorry, I had to swallow. You ever get that where you have to swallow, but your, your throat won't let you? <laughs> it's just like, nah, not right now, buddy. You're going to wait. Oh, yeah, bud. You can just wait a second. Now, this is one of those random wells. I always find these interesting that there's just these random wells in the middle of the desert for no reason. And sometimes I'm tempted to go check them out, but if you get in one, you, can, you ain't getting out of it. Unless, unless there's a broom down there. You can probably get out if the broom was down there. But if the broom's not down there and you go down there, you're kind of stuck. Oh, look at this. The road's leaning off that way. You know, I think I have not seen the UFO that much. I think I've seen it twice now on the way back. And I think I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I remember I didn't see it for the first, like, God, it had to be 1,500 kilometers. And I thought people were just joking because people kept saying, oh, I've seen the UFO. And I'm like, yeah, you're just saying this to uh, trick me and I'm going to look stupid. And then it showed up the one night, scared the crap out of me. Devil Road. Look at this. Look at this. See, this is what I mean. Someone suggested in the comments once, too, they said, Oh, yeah, you know, it's just because the computer's not powerful enough to generate the road. Are you kidding me? What kind of answer is that? My computer's not powered enough to generate a straight line? That's upsetting. <laughs> and, I got, and I got a fairly high-end system. Like, it's by no means uh, brand new top of the line, but I'm, I'm rocking a 3950X. Like, I'm not running the new 5 Series, but, like, you know, 16 cores and all that business. So, I, I, like, I'm, I, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, we got something on the horizon. I see a building. This is the one nice thing about driving with the keyboard. And I'm going to get back to the steering wheel. Don't worry. Just today, I needed to do this kind of quick. And someone asked me to stop more often. So, one nice thing about the keyboard is playing on the outside like this, you can really look into the distance. Some guy actually commented the other day about how it gives him uh, anxiety that I don't watch my gauges like they matter. <laughs> Like, what, what gauge am I looking for? Best, worst case scenario, it's going to overheat, right? Or the oil light will come on. But I know to check that stuff pretty regularly anyway, and my my uh, my coolant tank doesn't leak. So we're good, man. What's this? Oh, is this a, this is a big garage. I better uh, bleed off some speed here before uh, we get there. You know, let's take a little wide berth here. There it is. There's the slowdown we all love so much. There it is. Oh my god. Look at that slowdown, man. Okay. Now let's see here. Get out. Oh yeah, ignition off. Alright. Okay. You hear it? I just need to... Oh, it's saving. This is always the problem. If it auto-saves... When it's running the slow, it can crash. It's happened to me quite a few times. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Yeah, we we need to move on from this, I think. Um, well, I'll go check things out a little bit, but we're keeping the car over here in case something goes horribly wrong. I wonder... You know what? I'm wondering. If I just... I don't want to do that. I want my gun. Yeah, he's mad. Oh, God. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Okay, he's dead now. All right. I'm wondering. 
I'm running out of ammo. I'm not running out, but I've, I've used half my ammo up since I started uh, playing this. Okay, there it is. Is that what I thought I saw? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try something dumb. You see this canister here that explodes? What we're going to do is, in an attempt to eliminate some of the problem here with the physics, and I know this sounds counterintuitive, we are going to blow up that, and hopefully it blows up the other things inside. Whoa! Okay. Did that help the physics? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. It helped a little bit. Okay. This is, look, see, look, it's running a little bit better. Because I'm hoping it'll fix all the crazy physics items on the inside that are causing these slowdown problems, but it did. It is a bit smoother. Let's see. Look at all this garbage. There's not much going on in here, though. Let's get this out of here so I can get in there. Okay. I really, really, really want a hubcap, man. Okay, just get in here. What do we got here? This is feels empty. What do you got? It's just water. See, that's what causes the physics problems. That bouncing around. That's what's going... Okay. Oh, God. There we go. See, look how CO just really starts to slow down or crawl. Get out of here, board. No board. Okay, there's no way for me to get in here effectively. So unless this... No, no hubcap here. I would love a new hubcap. Oh, well. Let's move on. There's, like, it's just too much junk in there, and I'm just going to get killed by the boards. I'd probably be willing to go in if the boards weren't there. But the boards are there, and I don't feel like risking it. And now, okay, is that a rabbit? Holy crap, there's a friggin' rabbit right near my car. Rabbit, go away. Thank you. Sit down here, close this up. Okay, okay, where are we anyway? 28, so we don't have that far to go. Only like six or seven kilometers to go. So we'll get this done. But, you know, I'm glad, like, okay, so we do learn that. Blah, 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 blah. We did learn that blowing the things up eliminates some of the problem because it resets the uh, physics a bit, I think. There we go. That's better. Nice buttery smooth now. So maybe I should try it again if I have a slowdown and blow up the containers because A, it eliminates any gas containers in the vicinity. Not to mention road lotion. Um, what other things explode? Road lotion explodes. Is it just road lotion in the, those uh, explosive things? I don't know. I think so. But yeah, we're uh, we're hauling ass again now down this highway, oh, the longest highway home. Okay, that's a song actually by a band in Canada, but I can't remember the name of it. The longest highway home. Look that up. It's kind of like a catchy rock song from about ten years ago. Oh yeah, it's not a bad. It's not a bad. What what is wrong with my speaking lately? Every time I open my mouth, I'm either saying something stupid or I'm not saying it right. Even if I say something, it's wrong. At least I didn't blow my Karens up that time, I guess. They just don't have a... Oh, there we go. Okay, that mirror is way out of whack and it's driving me insane, but I know I'll have an accident if I try to adjust it right now. So at the next stop, we'll adjust it. Somebody remind me. I feel like I want to remove the bumpers on this Skoda, too, because I feel like the car looks better without them. This, this rear bumper is very intrusive. The front one's not as bad, but the rear one's definitely very intrusive. Okay, here we go. Nice. This is going so well right now. Actually, you know what? This car isn't that bad, but it does handle like a dog. Which is kind of an insult to dogs. The dogs handle pretty good. Except for uh, bulldogs, man. They, uh... They're not built for handling. <laughs> Put it that way. Beautiful dogs, but not built for handling. I used to know this here. Here's a good story. Everybody wants to hear my stories. So when I lived in this small town when I was growing up, uh, a friend of mine, his dad was the animal control officer out there, and they had a, um, a kennel for dogs, and, and I think they did stray cats as well, but dogs for sure. And I used to, I used to help out to work there once in a while, do stuff like that. And um, they had this dog, this bulldog, who they'd rescued from uh, from somewhere, and it was it was really really fat, like it was like the fattest poor bulldog. So they had it on a diet. They're trying to lose weight, and the bulldog's name was Abby, and she was lovely, but she was very fat. So we used to call her Flabby Abby. 
And my friend's mom used to, stepmom, used to get real angry at us because we made fun of the dog's weight. And so she used to make us the dog like car rides. And she used to make us take the dog everywhere. So we're going to the car one day and his mom's outside. And, and I say, hey, Abby, you want to go for a car ride? The dog gets excited. I'm like, quick, Abby, to the fat mobile. And, and his mother chased us. She, oh, God, we're losing control. She chased us to the car. They tried to hit us, and it was really funny. Like, not seriously hit us. Like, it was funny. Oh, God, that dog. Flabby Abby. Oh, it's the cutest dog you ever saw. Do I want to stop here? Oh, I'm so close, actually. Oh, it's 400 meters up the road. You know what? Actually, I know what I want to do. I know I, I should be ending this episode, but... I think it's time to do one of my, my, my patented... Oh, God, don't do this right now, please. We're so close to the end of this. Okay, there we go. Okay, but open. Oh, yeah, gotta go this way. Okay, here we go. Got it. All right. There we go. Let's get in the seat here. Okay, just... Okay, I want out of the seat. Um, Get out of the seat. Get out of the seat. There we go. Back to the car. Gonna race the bus. Come on, bus. Go, go, go. Okay, go, go, bus, go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bus, race in. Because if I keep up with it, it should continue to roll downhill pretty much infinitely. <laughs> Come on, bus. Escape to freedom. You know what this is? This is the movie Speed. Oh, no, man. Oh, oh, tire fell off. Never mind. It was all going so well until it hit that one lonely tree in the middle of the desert. I heard a story about this once, that there was this lonely tree in the middle of a desert. It had been there for, like, thousands of years. And some dude came along, was drinking and driving, and hit the tree and killed it. Like, in the middle of a desert, it was the only tree, and he found a way to kill it. Like, how messed up is that? That's, that's just, like, strange to me. I don't, like, oh, God, there's another rock... Okay, there's something about this car and rocks creeping up that is, is scurrying. There's another big rock. What is so many rocks on this part of the map? Was this, this many rocks coming down? Or are they spawn? Look, there's another one. Are they spawning new or something? Okay, I need to slow this thing down some. There we go. Lock it up. There we go. Back on the road. Okay, so we got to look for a spot to stop now. Because we're close, but not quite there. And now I gotta figure out which. Okay, here we go. Okay, no, no, don't see anything yet. Because we had to get to 36.4, if I remember correctly, and we're at 39, so we're we're way above where we need to be. But I don't like to stop in the middle of the road. Like I like I've done it before, but not usually. Unless I really gotta go to the bathroom or something, I don't usually stop in the middle of the road. Seems kind of stupid, but hey, what do I know? Just a little bit further down the road. There we go. Oh, there we go. Stay on the road. Stay. There you go. Stay on. Stay on. There's another rock coming. The boy, the brakes on this thing are not good. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We got a spot right here we can stop. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to... Apparently, we're going to spin out a little bit. There we go. Let's go in reverse. Oh, this thing's not very fast in reverse at all. There we go. Come on, baby. Perfect. Okay. We'll get to this place. We're getting right at nightfall, too, so this works out. Oh, the road's just down over there, so we're all set. Okay, okay. This is bad. This, okay, there we go. There's a bus here. Probably get a new hubcap. You know, there's a dasha here, but now that I have this, I, I kind of enjoy it. All right, we're going to... Probably should grab a hubcap while we're thinking. Because I'll forget in the beginning of the next episode, and then we're going to look dumb. Okay, don't do this right now, fool. Okay, just just relax. All right. This looks like as good a hubcap as we're going to find. All right. Look at me running. Look at my, look at my legs. <laughs> oh, the animations are great. Okay, get in there. All right, so we're going to end this episode here. So how far did we get? Sit there. So we need to go 36.4. We went 
41 7 so 36 4 that's another five plus three so five points so 55 point three ish i guess close to anyway so thank you so much for watching if you like this please leave a comment maybe subscribe maybe tell your friends to subscribe maybe tell them that they need to come join me on my adventure uh to wherever this goes to the olive garden and and bring their grandmothers and we'll have a grandmother olive garden party which i think all grandmothers would enjoy now that i'm thinking that olive garden should have grandmother days who disagrees i don't think anybody would disagree but yes you know me Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I'm pretty sure that's Santa Claus and nobody's telling me. Please bring me a gift of freedom from this game. It's trying to get to my soul. Out.